My name is Rick Taylor, and I'm a certified wildlife biologist. I worked for Texas Parks and Wildlife for 27 years before retiring. Uh, now I'm a consulting wildlife biologist and a real estate broker with Weston Swope Ranches. You know, a lot of people in Texas uh, think the white-tailed deer is the most popular game animal. And that's probably true, but another bird that, that is real close to it is the bobwhite quail. Frequently I get questions asked, what's happening to the bobwhite quail population? You know, I'm not seeing as many quail as I used to see. You know, where are they at? And really, to understand about quail, you need to know a little bit about the biology of quail. Think about it this way. If you are five or six inches tall, your whole world is that height. So a bobwhite quail requires several different things to really survive. He requires food, of course, water, and cover. Now when you talk about cover, there's different types of cover. You have loafing cover, which is small trees and areas to get underneath, the protection from predators, uh, protection from uh, the elements. You need nesting cover, cover where they can lay, that, lay their eggs. Quail are a ground nesting bird, and so they have to have enough grass to make those nests. You know, having said that, a quail, people always ask, well, you know, they'll nest two or three or four times a year. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that quail do have the ability to re-nest. Most of the time, they'll only re-nest if their first nest is destroyed for, some, for whatever reason. They'll nest on the ground, they're monogamous, meaning they only have their, they'll have their one mate, and uh, they'll nest in a clump of grass. They'll lay 10 to 14 eggs, uh, uh, you know, average, I think they average about 12. They'll incubate that, those eggs for about 21 days before they start hatching. And once they're hatched, their life begins. Getting back to the food aspects of it, you know, they're seed eaters, uh, hard seeds on grasses, forbs, you know, some brush species. So they are, they are uh, seed eaters. However, when they're first born, they require a lot more protein. So bugs and insects are very important, as well as you know green vegetation. So that's very important in a quail's life. And all of this centers around moisture, which is very much important to them. Quail get their moisture three different ways. They get it, of course, freestanding water. They get it preformed, which would be from uh, plants, moisture out of plants, fruits, things of that nature. And also metabolic, where they more or less get their water from within their system. And all three of them are very important, but in the, in the dry desert area, uh, water is very critical, especially natural water. 